Okay, just a quick video here. How are you doing, everybody? I wanted to talk a little bit about resistance. It is about 12 noon uh, Pacific time, so that's about 3 o'clock on the East Coast. If you look at the S&P here, you can see that <clears throat> we are basically at a resistance level. Uh, if you take a look at Apple, look at Apple, it hit that R1 resistance. That number is 448.27. So when Apple hit about 456, it turned into a $2 trillion company. So our thinking is that these high-flying tech stocks like Apple, Amazon, have some, they have some headline risk. In other words, there's Amazon. It took a uh, red candlestick today. So you can see there's three bulls rising, those three green candlesticks, and we're met by a red candlestick. If we look at something like AMD, you can see that AMD hit this resistance level. That's monthly resistance. This monthly resistance, it's monthly R1 for AMD, advanced micro devices, is 8706. This was generated by the computer one month ago, so or at the end of last month, which was July 31st. So this 8706 resistance number, this is R1, was generated at the end of July. And so they're predictive numbers. However, it's still in an upward trend. If we look at something like just the QQQ, the overall NASDAQ, you'll see again, it hit that resistance number, R1, that's monthly R1. You can see it was trading between, last month, between R1, uh, R2, and R3. Let's Let's see what R1 is for the QQQ. It's 274 and 69 cents. That's monthly R1 for QQQ. Uh, we'll take a look at something else like Nvidia, another high flyer. <clears throat> and we can see that uh, Nvidia has also sold off. Um, if we look at something like Ford, for example, Ford is in the doji essentially. Uh, let's look at Macy's. Macy's had a big high close doji today. Uh, it went from 616 to about 666. So that's uh, maybe a 50 cent move on a $6 stock. So that's almost a 10% move. Um, let's take a look at Tesla, one of my favorites. Tesla also showing a sell off. And it, look, it's sold off. Right now it's trading literally at the pivot. See that blue line right there? That's the pivot. The pivot for the month of August is 1435. Now, all this stuff is <clears throat> also available in AI Deep Trader, which I'll bring up here. If we just take a look at something simple like the SPY, we can see that it went down, up, it closed this gap. There's a gap that was just closed on the S&P. We can see it here, SPY, go back to the S&P. And if we look way back, you can see this gap right here was created back in March. And we have 332.58, um, which was reached, uh, let's see, right about here, three, yeah. Right, so that gap was closed. Um, now we have a doji forming on the S&P. That's the last thing you want to see after an upward trend. So we're looking at a few other stocks here. Uh, let's take a look at Visa. Nothing exciting, but again, still, see that resistance number? This resistance number is so important. As we head into this election, there's going to be some uncertainty. Uh, with mail-in ballots, with Trump, with Biden, with all the back and forth and nonsense that goes on. So you can even see this visa is very, very, it's capitulating, it's it's condensing. It's it's come back over its 76% on the Fibonacci retracement from the lows in, in March. Um, but we can also look at something like, let's take a look at Baba. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
Let's look at T-C-E-H-Y. Oh, this one is, this one came and just created a gap. This is 10 cent trading at 67.18 after Trump's announcement with these Chinese social apps like TikTok being banned in the U.S. This created a lot of gaps on the way up. So we expect that this could mean revert maybe somewhere back to even last month's pivot, which is 61. So yeah, this stock is down, looks like 10%. So we'll go back to the last VXX. We're expecting a rise in volatility within really two days. So it's the 7th, we've got the 8th, 9th, the 10th is Monday. Tuesday, we'll be looking to see if Tuesday, the 12th, or the ele Tuesday, the 11th of August, somewhere around the 11th or 12th, we might see a small volatility spike. Uh, we've been seeing them almost every 30 days on the 15th or the 12th of the month, somewhere around there, we see a volatility spike. And those obviously are uh, opportunities for going long uh, quality stocks like an Apple or something like that. All right, that's all we got today. Let's take a look. And just for the end of the day, we'll go back to Amazon. We're still trading at somewhere in the bid is... 3152 offered at 3154. This has sort of been all over the place since it broke out. Um, but that's all we've got today uh, talking about resistance and how important these numbers are. Hey, have a great weekend. Take care.